This small tree blocks my path. Fuck you, nature. Hey guys, and welcome back to NU Lock, a Pokemon Black never used tier Nuzlocke challenge. Today, we will be taking on Sharon and the Stryton Gym. But before that, I want to quickly point out that it's been a while since I last played this game. So much so that if I were to leave this area right here, yeah, it's been over a month. So, I'm going to go reacquaint myself with my party members in the form of extensive grinding. Be right back. Oh my god. You guys? You guys. I freaking love this team. I'm serious. None of you are allowed to die. Ever. So we are currently sitting at a much more respectable level. The Strayton Gym Leader uses level 12 and level 14 Pokemon, so this should be sufficient. And you know what? What better way to test our newfound power than to fight Sharon? What's up, Sharon? Hmm, my Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's battling. Hey, what's up? Have you come looking for the gym leader? No, I came looking for you. I need experience fodder. Hmm, well, let's see how effective my items are. Oh, you're gonna be a scumbag, aren't you? Oh, level 8? Dude, you can use some grinding. Alright, Colonel, let's test out your newfound power. Colonel, it'll actually learn to attack, and the attack is a very helpful move that allows you to block an attack that's incoming. You can only use it once every second turn or so, but it's very handy if you want to scope. Let's go for some bites and see if we can get a flinch off of this tip pig right here. Oh, nice crit! Wait, this Tepic's holding an item? Hacks. Well, we got, we got a crit and we got a flinch, so I can't complain about that. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, nice! Colonel is just doing all the flinching. Get out of here. Purling, huh? This should be fairly easy. Let's go for a stabbed tackle attack. Don't go lowering my attack stat. I need that. Uh oh. Sist. I see. Losing to you means I still have a lot to learn. So learning to use items well is definitely important then. Oh, here! I'll give you some- Oh, berries! Yes, yes, yes! Give me these! I want these, I want these so badly! Yeah, in this game you can't get berries from the overworld, you have to get them from, I guess, NPCs. Normally you would get them from the Pokemon Dream World, but that's gone offline, so I have no other way of getting berries except from NPCs. How many did we get? Oh, we got three! Well, we are definitely giving these to our party members. So let's see, who could use a berry? I'm gonna give one to Elodie because he doesn't really have the greatest defense. And I will give one to... I'll give one to the Colonel. And I'll hang on to one for later. You know, I was thinking about this during the Sharon fight, but as much as I rage about in-game tutorials, this world has a school dedicated to teaching you how to Pokemon battle. And they're not even teaching like upper level strats or anything, it's just basic stuff. And they have a school for this. 
somehow I get the feeling that our Poketax dolls aren't really being put to good use. We don't need to heal, I think we're good. Yes? Yes, I am the gym leader of this town. You are? Right, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Uh, my first Pokemon was the, the fire type. You should use the water one. So the gimmick behind this gym is that they will use a type that is strong against whatever Pokemon that you pit at the beginning of your journey. And as a mechanic, I can see how this can work in your head, but fundamentally, I just, I really do not like this gym. Also, the other mechanic of this gym is that we're supposed to pick the whatever attack is super effective against whatever's on the curtain. And I get how this is supposed to teach you the elemental triangle and how that's supposed to work, but the trainers inside this gym. They all use normal Pokemon. All the Pokemon are normal type here. I mean, you see this? You see this leap up right here? Why couldn't this have been a Sawaddle? Or if you want to teach me about fire types and how water is super effective against it, why couldn't this have been a Darumaka? Because then I could have actually used a water type on it and actually see for myself that it's super effective. That bite did a lot of damage. Okay, we're obviously not faster than this Lily Pup, so we're gonna go for Tackle instead. So we are faster? I guess we're tied then. Hmm. Let's see if we can get a flinch in. Nice! Colonel's just doing all the flinching. Flinch Master! Colonel.exe! Hmm, let's see, what, is, what could potentially be strong against water types? I think we should also flip someone else to the front as well. Colonel's been doing very well this for this for these sets of battles, so let's see, let's put let's put Atlas on the front for a little while, since I'm we're not gonna be able to use him for the gym battle. Now the last curtain that we just passed was the water curtain, so why couldn't this pat rat have been a water type? Now I can understand like maybe why you wouldn't necessarily put a water type this early in the game simply because you might not necessarily have a Pokemon that is strong against it, unless you want to do some massive grinding. Oh bide. That's that's a little scary. Oh, that's really scary. Oh, that's really scary. So Bite is an attack that will activate and then it starts storing power. So it will take all the damage that you do during the stored power period and then it will unleash it all at once. And it will be double of whatever you did to it. Oh, that is really scary. Like, I'm pretty sure I could wipe it out within two Fine Whips, but I really don't want to take that chance. So we're gonna do some non we're gonna do some non-damaging attacks. Go for a leer. And I'm gonna switch out for someone that has full health. Who has full health right now? I need LD for the gym battle, so we're gonna go for Monty then. I don't think I did that much damage with Vine Whip while it was storing power, but just to be safe. Ooh, wow. So I did 9 damage with that Vine Whip. Go for a tackle? Stop that! Stop biting! Oh! 
Oh, nice! Alice wants all this growth! So let's see, growth increases our attack and special attack stats. So I think I'm gonna get rid of... Wrap is handy because it does a set amount of damage. It's good for long battles if you have if you have problems getting through their defense. Uh, Leer is essentially like a, another version of growth, so we'll get rid of Leer. I have other things I can Leer. And Monty should be able to take a pro line without any problems. But just to be safe, I'll slip I'll we'll switch back over to Alice. A scratch from a Curling does. Oh, that's pitiful damage. Fine Whip should be able to handle this cat no problem. Why is everything used by in this game? After all that damage that we took on our team, I'm going to quickly pop over to the Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon, so... HEALING! Okay, we're healed up. Moving on! Oh, really? I was really hoping we could get one more trainer so I could do, uh, test out some damage on Elodie. Okay, so apparently we are now fighting the gym leader. I really thought there was going to be one more trainer. In that case, we need to start prepping up our strats. So I'm going to put Atlas on the front here. And that's because the gym leader will always start off with a level 12 Lillipop. He will then flip over to his elemental monkey that is strong against whatever starter you pick. So the gym leader is currently holding a Pan Seer, I believe. And what I want it to do is I want it to use its fire type attack when it switches in. It will try to use Incinerate on Atlas, and then I can switch over to Elodie, and then she will resist the Fire-type attack. But I really should get rid of the Berry then, because Incinerate is an attack that will get that will burn the Berry. Ah! Okay, in that case, I will put the Berry onto Atlas just for good measure then. Because Atlas, I don't want you taking Incinerate anyway, so you should be fine. That is such a dick move then! Jaren gives you berries! I now go fight a gym leader that uses incinerate and can burn my berries up and do extra damage because of it. Jaren, you are a freaking troll, you know that? Okay, deep breaths. Welcome to the Pokemon Gym. I am Chili, I like I I fight I burn things. I am Chris. I'm all wet. And I am Zillan. I destroyed the reputation of Pokemon because I suck. As for why there are three of us, um, well, we're all gym leaders. Ta ja! The Fire-type Scorcher Chili, that's me, will be your opponent! Yow! Time to play with fire! I am the strongest of us brothers! Okay, who are you and what is wrong with your hair? Okay, gym leaders also tend to use items a fair bit, so there's a really high probability that I might weaken down the Lily Pup, and then he will use an item to heal himself. So I'm going to use a Growth to increase Atlas's attack strength. Oh, that's right, I forgot about this! Oh, I completely forgot about this! This is actually incredibly frightening. The gym leader here, his TM is worked up. 
which means that he can also boost his attack strength as well. Oh, that is terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. Okay, we're gonna go for another growth ourselves. Fight is gonna do... <clears throat> that was 14 damage from a bite. Bite has 60 power. Attack of might be enough to bring Atlas down if it's a crit. Vine Whip, take that Lily Pup out! Oh, that thing's sturdy! Eat that berry! No! No! This thing had pickup. I forgot they added that mechanic as pickup. So pickup not only can it get you items in the overworld, it can also steal items from your opponent if they use it in battle. I completely forgot about that. Jilly, you, you're terrifying. You are absolutely terrifying. I mean, I'm glad that it stopped him from using an item himself. But at the same time, oh, that's scary. That is absolutely frightening. Okay, we're gonna switch over to LD. Use a fire type attack. Use a fire type attack. You know you want to. You know you want to burn me with fire. Oh no. No. You're not gonna be that guy. Don't be that guy that sets up and then destroys things. We have two options. We can go for the super effective water gun, or we can potentially go for Lick. Lick has a 30% chance of paralyzing it, and that would slow it down. I think we gotta go for damage. Water gun! Oh, it's faster too! Oh, this thing's faster. So, LD, you, you gotta take one hit. You gotta take one hit from this thing. Oh, okay, never mind. He's being dumb. He's using fire on water. Yes! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Ah, you got me! Oh, you're on fire! Well, you're not, because I just doused you with all the water. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon including traded Pokemon will obey you up to level 20. I also want you to have this. So every time we defeat a gym leader, we also receive a TM from them. We get Workup, which increases your attack and special attack stats. Which is very handy if you want to set up. Who's hot? We're hot. Who's hot? We're hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. That gym battle was really frightening. That was terrifying. Oh my... Oh, I forgot that they had workup. And that has actually destroyed Nuzlocke's for Pokemon Black because of it. Okay guys, we are going to end this episode on a good note. And in the next episode, we will take care of a couple more things in Stryon City. And then potentially make our way over to Route 2 and our next capture. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching this. And I hope to see you next time. Laters!